Our third topic, finding possible values of a random variable. Simulan natin ang ating topic sa definition ng random variables. Pag sinabi natin random variable, this is variable or variables that are resulted from an experiment by chance. So lahat ng result ng ating experiment and we put that into numbers or numerical value, that is what we call random variables. So, paano ba natin hahanapin yung possible values ng random variable? Halimbawa, suppose two television are tested at random. We want to find out the number of defective television. Thus, to each outcome in the sample space, we shall, we shall assign a value. So, lahat ng outcome na natin sa ating experiment, we are going to assign value. These are 0, 1, or 2. So, if there is no defective TV or television, we assign the number 0. If there is one defective TV, we assign the number 1. And 2, if there are 2 defective television. So, yung number of defective television natin, that is the random variable. Let us illustrate. Suppose uh, our X represent the defective TV or television and our Y represent the non-defective television. So if we let Z be the random variable representing the number of defective TV, let us show the values of the random variable Z by completing the table. But before we complete the table, let us first define ano ba yung sample space. So, pag sinabi nating sample space, ito yung set of all possible outcomes or result of that experiment. So, lahat ng outcomes ng ating experiment, ang tawag doon ay sample space. So, going back, so going back to the table, Ang possible outcomes natin kapag kumuha tayo ng dalawang televisions, possible na ang makuha natin ay XX. So, kapag uh, XX yan, ibig sabihin, meron tayong dalawang number of defective television. Ibig sabihin, yung nakuha nating dalawang television ay defective lahat. So, ang value ng random variable Z natin, which is the number of defective TV, 2. So, kapag ang possible outcomes naman na nakuha natin ay YY, ibig sabihin, wala tayong nakuhang defective na TV. So, ang random variable Z natin value ay 0. Kapag ang ating outcome naman ay XY or YX, ang ating value ng random variable Z or yung number ng defective TV na nakuha natin ay 1. So, kung mapapansin natin, Merong apat na sample space tayo or apat na outcomes sa ating example. Another example, again, again, let's try. In a box, there are two balls, one white and one yellow. Two balls are picked one at a time with replacement. Ibig sabihin, pag kumuha ako ng isang bola and then pwede ko siyang ibalik. Kasi with replacement siya. And then kukuha uli ako ng pangalawang bola. So let X be the random variable representing the number of white balls. So ang hinahanap natin dito ay bilang ng puting bola na makukuha natin when we pick two balls. So find the values of the random variable X. So ang step 1 natin dito, determine natin yung sample space. And then, represent the two balls. So, pag nirepresent natin yung two balls natin, let W represent the white ball and yung Y natin for the yellow ball. So, yung sample space natin sa ating experiment or yung mga outcome, possible outcome, kapag kumuha tayo ng two balls from the uh, box one at a time, so, ang possible nating sample space dyan, ang makukuha nating na dalawang bola, possible na white-white. Kasi, 
uh, ibig sabihin with replacement, pag kinuha mo yung white na ball or kahit anong bola yung makuha mo, pwede mo siyang ibalik. And then, kukuha ko ka uli ng another ball. So, possible na ang makuha mo ng dalawang sunod na bola ay white-white. Possible din na yellow-yellow ang makuha mo. Or pwede rin namang white-yellow or yellow and white. So, these are the sample space or the outcomes of the experiment. So, ang step 2 natin, count the number of white ball in each outcome in the sample and assign this number to this outcome. Kasi after tayo doon sa bilang ng white ball na lalabas doon sa ating experiment or doon sa outcome ng ating experiment. And then we are going to assign number to this outcome. So, ang mga possible outcomes natin, yung sample spaces natin, that's WW or white white, the yellow two yellow balls or YY and then WY and the YW. So, yung value natin of the random variable X or the number of white balls, of course, kapag WW, ibig sabihin dalawang puting bola ang ating nakuha sa pagkuha natin ng dalawang magkasunod na bola. Sumunod, YY, ibig sabihin walang white balls na Nakuha tayo, so 0 ang ating random variable x. And then yung yw, uh, that is 1 white. The same di this with the wy na nakakuha ng isang white ball. So the possible values of the random variable x, kung mapapansin natin sa table, ito ay 0, 1, at 2. Ngayon, let us trente naman. Let's have another problem. Two balls are picked in succession without replacement. So, yung kangina, with replacement, ibig sabihin, pwede mo siyang ibalik. Dito, without replacement, ibig sabihin, pag nakuha mo na, hindi mo na siya pwedeng ibalik pa. So, two balls are picked in succession without replacement. Four white balls and five green balls. Let y be the random variable representing the number of green balls. So, ang hinahanap natin dito, doon sa dalawang kinuha natin na bola na nagre-represent ng white or green balls, ano daw doon yung uh, random variable or value ng random variable na nagre-represent ng green balls. So, ano daw yung mga values na yun? So, let us see the problem. So, solve natin ang step 1, represent the white and green balls. And of course, we are going to determine the sample space or yung outcome ng ating experiment. So, answer let W, of course, represent the white balls and G represent the green ball. So, yung mga sample space natin dito or yung possible outcomes natin sa ating experiment, of course, kapag kumuha tayo ng ating uh, white balls and green balls, possible sample space natin ay white, white or WW white green green white or green green so these are all the sample space so on step 2 natin count the number of green ball in each outcome in the sample space and assign this number to this outcome because remember we are looking uh, at the number of green ball from the outcome so, the possible outcomes natin, based on the sample space, we have the WW, white white, or WG, that's white green, green white, and the green green. These are uh, from the sample space. So, kapag tinignan natin yung number of green balls natin sa ating uh, outcome, so, random variable Y represent the number of green balls. So, sa una, wala tayong green ball. So, 0 ang ating value. Sa pangalawa, we have 1. Sa pangatlo, we have 1. At sa pangapat, we have 2 outcomes ng 
green ball. So the possible values of random variable y from the experiment that we have, considering new number ng green ball, we have 0, 1, and 2. So let us now apply. Two cards are drawn from a deck. How many possible values can each of the following variables take? So for number 1, the sum of the numbers on the cards, we have 17. Okay, so kung bibilangin natin yung mga outcomes na yan, so we all know naman yung mga values natin sa card. So if we are going to get two cards and then we are going to add their values, isang outcome na yun. And then another two cards and then we are going to add the values, another outcome na yun. So there are 17 outcomes. For number two, the number of times both cards are blocked. Ibig sabihin, pag kumuha ka ng two cards, ang makukuha ay block. So, that is 169. Kasi ang ating uh, deck of cards, there are 26 block cards. So, 13 and 13. So, 13, tapos i-combine mo siya sa 13 na block, that will be 169. And the last is the number of the first card is 6 and the second card is red. So, yung 6 natin, meron tayong um, apat na 6 sa ating deck of card. And then, yung red natin, there are 26 numbers of uh, red cards. So, we are going to have 104. 104 uh, number of first card, which is 6, and the second card is red. So that's the end of our topic. My reference is the statistics and probability of the pivot for a calabarzon.